David Davis. Uh, thank you, Madam I, would, I want to associate myself with the comments made by my honourable friend for Beverley, East Yorkshire, and indeed my right honourable friend for, uh, for Hull. Uh, I'll embarrass him again by calling him that. Because this proposal uh, uh, of VAT on static caravans will have a serious deleterious effect on all of East Yorkshire, including Hull, uh, dramatically cutting employment in the area uh, at a time when we are trying to encourage growth uh, and trying to balance the books. And this will do neither. In fact, it will reverse both. And I simply want to focus on one item. This is a finance bill. The aim is to raise money. The latest estimates of the employment impact are four to seven and a half thousand job losses as a result of this measure, of which 1,500 to 2,000 will be in the vicinity of our constituencies. The effect of that, in financial terms, is pretty straightforward to calculate. The government estimates the, it will raise 30 to 45 million in VAT from this change. It will lose between 32 to 65 million in lost national insurance, lost uh, uh, revenue, inland revenue, uh, and, and uh, extra welfare costs. So this will actually do the opposite of what the budget is attempting to do. The Treasury, when I put the point to them, said to me, we don't calculate things that way. Now, there is, it may sound silly, but there is actually a substantive point behind it, as I'm sure the Shadow Chancellor, who is smiling, would know, and that is this. That normally speaking, when you introduce a tax change that leads to job losses, the people will then, in due course, find another job. In East Yorkshire, the two Hull seats have dramatically, two, two of the three Hull seats have dramatically high unemployment levels already. The ratio of jobs available to unemployed uh, people seeking them is one of the highest in the country. And so, I'll give away in one second. Uh, and so, what this means is this unemployment will not be <coughs> short term. It is likely to be more than five years. And as a result, we should calculate this this way because in the foreseeable future, this will cost more than it will raise. I give way to the Honourable Lady. I'm very grateful, and I think uh, the Honourable Member is making an excellent contribution. But could I uh, ask the Honourable Member if he's uh, seen today the figure that there's 43 people in my constituency chasing every vacancy? That's the figure today to set alongside uh, the comments that the Honourable Member is making. Uh, the, the Honourable Lady makes uh, a, a very powerful point. It's a point that is not unfamiliar to me because we have all been in similar battles to this over job losses as a result of BAE and BRUF, uh, and in my case, uh, job losses announced in my constituency to the tune of 17, 1,700 so far, effectively in the last six months. So I'm afraid this proposal does not stand on the government's own criteria. And accordingly, I would like to support uh, 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 new Clause 6, and I will vote for it when it's put to the, put to the test. Yeah, yeah. Albert Owen. Thank you, 